If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. What's up guys, it's Jaco, and any day now we should be receiving a trailer for the brand new summer update in GTA Online, most likely coming out next week, July 19th on a Tuesday. So I thought I would give a quick little guide on the best ways to make money solo, the businesses that you should be doing if you want to make some great solo cash. Now, like I said, this is solo. There's plenty of other businesses and ways to make money if you have a good crew behind you to help you out, like the casino heist. That won't be in this video because you need at least one other person to make that happen. So consider that as well as just, it's kind of just my opinion, though most people will probably agree with me. There might be some things that that uh it could be out of order for you and if you do feel that way you know be sure to comment and let me know what you guys think down below starting out with number five on the list we have crates now this was a business really really og back in the day 2016 this dropped and this is the first ever business that came out to gta online and it's still a pretty darn good one if you have some decent transportation to get around the map as you see here in this gameplay i'm on my oppressor so it's really easy to go back and forth to warehouses dropping off goods when it comes to the crate business you'll definitely need to know the kind of profits that you will be earning through each warehouse so i will have an image here now when it comes to buying crates for each warehouse you can go with one crate option which will take you the longest to absolutely fill up but you'll be spending way less money on actually filling it up i would not suggest that you could go with the two crate options or the three crate option you will be spending way more money to fill up your warehouse but the sale mission and getting that filled up will just be way way quicker and I know if you're getting three crates sold, that can be tough, but if you have a great means of transportation, it's not honestly that bad. These missions are really easy. And if you were to absolutely fill up each of the size warehouses with the one, two, or three crate options here on screen, you can, you can see each of the profits that you will be making. Now with the update around the corner, if you do not have the crate business, I would highly suggest not going for a large warehouse and trying to fill up the entire thing. But if you were brand new or already had a small warehouse, I would just go and try to fill up a small warehouse doing the three crate options. You won't make nearly as much money, but you'll get definitely a good profit upcoming for this next update. And next on the list at number four is the vehicle cargo warehouse where you source a vehicle for free. You obtain that vehicle and it'll either be if you were to just sell top range vehicles like I am right here in this clip, then you will be making a profit of $80,000, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but you can do like two of these in an hour and they're really, really easy, though the sell missions can be very, very frustrating. You trying to get through the Sultans and then with aimbot and the people driving in front of you, you guys have seen all the memes. They are true where people will do their best, NPCs, enemies will do their absolute best to just drive in front of you and just frustrate the hell out of you but it is pretty quick and solo money making eighty thousand hundred sixty thousand dollars an hour completely solo with these missions not being super super frustrating or hard or time consuming that this is definitely number four on my list for best solo businesses to make money with number three on my list was actually going to be the bunker but the sale missions can be very very hard to do solo so instead i chose the auto shop where you can do these vehicle services which can earn you up to sixty thousand dollars which isn't a ton but if you keep in mind that you can be completely passive and completely afk you could go to sleep and come back the next morning and you could earn money through these cars as well as if you make the staff member deliver them you never have to touch these vehicles and you can earn pretty decent money as well as the exotic export vehicles those will earn you 20k each vehicle though that is kind of a pain in the ass driving all the way down to the docks just to deliver a car for Simeon. essentially that can be you know it's not as worth it but the auto shop contracts are where it's at where you can earn up to like 160 180 thousand dollars per contract they're essentially like mini heists and you'll earn 10k per setup where you do two setups 
And then the mini heist finale for around 160, 180,000. The Union Depository will earn you a little bit more money, earning like $260,000 or something like that. You do will you will make more money through the Union Depository, but you're not always going to get it, so it's not always as realistic. Plus, probably the best part about this and why it's set above both the vehicle cargo and the crates is that it's 100% solo and you can do these in solo lobbies. The auto shop is one of my favorite businesses even to this day. If you don't include money, it is probably my favorite business to this day because the contracts are extremely fun and I like being able to customize people's cars and just have them deliver to make more money that way. It feels like a real legitimate business, which is kind of fun. Next on the list, we have the nightclub, which came out back in 2018. It is the best passive money making business on the game for sure. 100% not even close, but it takes a bunch of money to invest in this business. If you really, really, really want to be making some good cash through it. If you were to be a brand new player and buy the nightclub for the very first time, you will be roughly spending three to four million dollars just to get this thing maxed out buying the business. It's Itself, as well as upgrading all the staff and getting full stock and all the floors and shit it puts a lot a lot of money for a original investment and that's not even including the other businesses that you can buy to make even more money through the MC drug businesses. Those can be collected through the nightclub as well. If you have all the warehouse technicians, you can earn a bunch of money, earning up to like $1.7 million per maxed out sale. But like I said, it's a massive investment. It's like five, six million dollars probably. I don't know the exact numbers because it's quite a lot to handle. So if you think you're up for this or you don't have a lot of time to play GTA but you do have some money to invest I would highly suggest going down below and clicking one of the links to one of the nightclub guides or just looking up some nightclub videos for yourself because this can be get really complicated there's a lot of numbers that go into it and if I were to sit here and do all of them this video would be like 20 minutes long but once again, you could be asleep, earning millions of dollars in your sleep. You could be asleep in GT Online. You could be asleep in real life. And I've earned tens of millions of dollars through this business, and it's 100% solo. You only need one vehicle to sell all the cargo, and it is a godsend if you're doing other business activities like drug businesses or the vehicle cargo or whatever. You will be earning money through this business. As well, it is the only way that you can get your hands on an Oppressor Mark II. If you buy a terabyte, that's another like $4 million you'll have to fork over to max that thing out. But nonetheless, you have to get a nightclub to be able to get a terabyte to be able to get an Oppressor Mark II. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Before we get into the number one spot, I would like to make an honorable mention. This almost got up here on the list, and it was the agency business, which is a very, very good solo business, but some of the missions can be quite difficult, and if you're doing the Dr. Dre VIP missions, those I would not highly suggest for the brand new up-and-coming players to do, though it can earn you a million dollars, and you can do it pretty easily in a day, that it's just very tough missions and there's some other contracts that you can do in free roam sessions or in solo sessions that can earn you quite a bit of dough as well but there's those five minute timers that i hate and just overall ooh, the the hitman the hitman contracts the payphone contracts are excellent those are one of my favorite missions as well in the game so the agency would be put probably number three or four if i were to redo this list uh having said it was more of a beginner business but the agency for sure could definitely be up there in anyone's top five solo business coming in at number one best solo business you already guessed it it's the submarine kale perico you can do this thing in your sleep this is the easiest mission in the game i'm not even exaggerating if you were a brand new gt online player you got two million 2.2 million dollars to spend buy a submarine right now do the kale perico a few times in fact i do have a guide on my channel which i will leave link below giving you the best solo money guide to Keo Perico, where you can earn up to $2.5 million every 45 minutes to an hour. Plus, if you're doing this, you can earn nightclub money, auto shop money, those good passive income businesses, you will be earning money while doing this. And that is the best part. And once again, you can do them completely in solo sessions. You do not ever have to speak to another person in your life if you're like me and don't like people. 
So if you've got $2.2 million laying around, you do not have a submarine, you want to have money for the next GTA Online update to buy the new cars, businesses, whatever, go down below in the in the description, click the link to the KO Perico solo money guide and just do that over and over again in, until you've got millions and millions of dollars. Easily the best way to make solo money in the game. Plus, like I said, you'll be making that passive income through your other businesses like the nightclub, auto shop, etc. If you guys have anything you'd like to add or just you don't agree with me or do agree with me, let me know down below with a comment. I'm uh, I'm excited to see what you guys have to say as well. I think I did a pretty good guide for solo money businesses. So thanks again guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe to our post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.